Hi and welcome to the Bristol Music Show. We're here at the Louisiana getting ready for our first ever gig which is happening tomorrow and our last episode. Last episode of this series? Of the series, yeah. yeah. It's been great. It's been a great series. It's gone really quickly as well, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. But you're now ditching us. Yeah, I'm actually not going to be here for the very final episode or the gig uh, because I'm heading off to work at Creamfields Festival, which is going to be amazing. Uh, but probably not as amazing not as, as the gig. Not as good as the gig, really. Um, we've got Kayla Painter opening, then SJ Esau, then Scarlett Rascal, who I know you really wanted to see. Yeah, really looking forward to them, and they're not here. So um, I'm going to be a bit sad about that the whole time that I'm at Creamfield. Uh, talking of which, I probably should head off, because I've got to leave. Yeah, I think you should go. OK, yeah. well, um, have a great show. And you, see you, see you soon. Bye. 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 Well, by the time you're watching this, the gig will already have happened. But by the magic of television, we can go there right now. So we're here at the Louisiana for our gig, and Kayla Painter is just about to get on stage. Thank you very much for, for performing for us. No worries. Um, tell us what's happening this evening. You've got a screen, and you're going to do some projections. Yep. So I work with Jason Baker, who does a lot of visual stuff, and um, we've got a screen which is actually going to be in front of me tonight. And so then I'll be, you'll see like bits of me throughout the performance, but essentially you get this whole visual show which is uh, more the spectacle and then I'm just sort of in and out of it you know visually as well. A lot of my music um, lends itself to visuals really well so it's great to have someone doing them live and interpreting like the sounds and giving it a visual um, thing for people to like to watch and latch onto and to create stories and you know it sort of gives it a narrative. <laughs>
We're back in the Louisiana with more live music shortly, but first, it's been great to film our second series over the summer, and although the weather hasn't been too good, the music has. So here are some of our highlights. It's great to have something like this where we can have all the best music, all, all types of genres, uh, bits of the big melting pot of music, and it's that good to get that out there. More festivals need to be doing this sort of thing for local artists to be able to get heard. incredible that this festival has its own backstory, a continuing story. Um, and the first couple of pages of the program, they've turned um, the story into a graphic novel. So there was, there was a, a, an illustration of me dressed as the Bandit Queen in, uh, in the program, uh, which is in, that's insane to me, like that's insane. Make sure that everything's getting dancing. Rewind if the dub is a madness. Just the festival atmosphere, because I guess you can go from loads of different venues in Bristol and, and it'll be fun, obviously it'll have a good atmosphere, but being in an enclosed space with lots of people and sun, music, everyone's like having a laugh, it's a bit of a different feel, so that's why I chose Love Saves today. You're watching the Bristol Music Show. Let's return now to our music showcase at the Louisiana, and I caught up with second act SJ Esau just before his set. You've got so many things in front of you. I came in mm -hmm. during your sound check earlier on. Mm -hmm. How easy is it to remember what to press at once? Because if I had all that in front of me, I would not know what to do. It's not massively easy. Uh, I've got to practice a lot to make it sort of to make it work. I been doing it for a little while and I used to, it used to every gig used to be sort of a horror show of let's see if uh, let's see if I'll get it right at all now I tend to I don't want to jinx the set but I tend to sort of get it right a lot of the time And when I zoomed 
sing to you. One of your eyes, using Photoshop. It was the last opportunity to get off. And who isn't trying to get off everyone else and me behaving unhealthily? One of your eyes using Photoshop. It was the last opportunity to get off. performing live at the Louisiana as part of a music showcase hosted by us, the Bristol Music Show. We'll be back there with our final act, Scarlet Rascal, just after the break. Welcome back to the Bristol Music Show. Still to come, the headline act from our music showcase at the Louisiana, Scarlet Rascal. But as this is the last show of the series, here are some of our favourite moments. Hello, 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 oh, wow, hello, oh, wow. hello, 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 the Bristol Music Show. Bum, 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 bum. I'm a nice and decent. I'm a nice and decent. I'm a nice and decent. 
I'm a nice and decent. He Colors of the rainbow. So make me feel so mellow. I'm a nice and decent fellow. Nice decent. Love it not the house, that's what I'm talking about. So if I don't have a little love, I beg you scream and shout. Love it not the house, that's what I'm talking about. So if I don't have a little love, I beg you scream and shout. Unbelievable. What do you think about <laughs> amateur? My friend. <laughs> amateur. Completely amateur. Unbelievable. We no in and nothing with no roughness Scout strictly love to everyone That's what I'm talking about At the house that's what I'm talking about So if I don't have a little love I beg you scream and shout Loving at the house that's what I'm talking about So if I don't have a little love I beg you scream and shout See all the ladies dressed in yellow I'm a nice and decent fellow So when you see me come in the dance Just hold my hand, let's have a dance The ladies dressed in green So would you say that you had a very big mistake in the production? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, but the mistake was um, not my fault. Hey, yeah. I'm Adrian. I love. Ha have you fixed that mistake? Yes. Come on, buy plastic. Have you? Yes. <laughs> I've. Um, yeah. I fixed it by giving my beer to the crew at lunchtime to say sorry. <laughs> Well, that's it for the Bristol Music Show this week and for our special Harbour, Bristol Harbour Festival program. <laughs> that's it for the Bristol Music Show this week and that's it for the Harbour Festival. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Ready? And uh, now, yeah. It will be alright though, as long as it's done. Anyway, we're going to leave them. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Again? Yeah. That's it for the Bristol Music Show this week and for our Harborside special. I shouldn't say Harbour that, it's Bristol Harbour Festival. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, okay, ready? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. See you next week. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Are you really scared? Like, get me out! Here's Matthew, he's meant to be doing the sound, but he's not doing anything. Rolling! Well, that's it for the rest of the music show this week and for the rest of the series. Don't worry, we are going to be back and of course we're going to be on BCFM every Monday night from 8pm. We're going to leave you now with some other rest of the but until next time, bye! How does it feel having the album complete? Because I guess you've been a band for quite a while, so to actually get a full album together might must feel pretty good. Or are you just kind of yeah. relieved that it's done? It still doesn't feel real. I mean, we've had our test pressings, but we haven't had... As soon as I get a physical copy of it, I think that's when I'll be excited about it. Because it's taken a very long time, so as soon as I actually like actually have a copy of it, then I'll be like, oh, now we can be excited. <laughs> I guess you've done quite a lot in the past few months, so what happens once you've got the album? You're going on tour, right? Yeah, we're going on tour in October, and then I suspect we'll try and do another tour. I mean, I think really with this, the kind of band that we are, and the kind of the state of affairs with the um, state of the music industry and the way that it really is right now, I think it's... We're really the kind of band that we have to go out and just gig as much as possible. I think that's really, now that all this, all the other stuff is done, that's all there is now, that's all that's left, it's just a gig and gig and gig, for however long that takes.